Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to use and utilize better Twitch TV. Better Twitch TV is this uh, application you download to your Chrome where you have all these upgraded emotes and general memes on Twitch that people use and would highly increase the viewer experience if you know how to use them. Um, for me example, I use them a lot on nearly every channel I'm, I'm looking into. I'm checking if they have um, better Twitch TV enabled. It just yeah, it helps a lot for me to enjoy a stream to be able to chat by using those emotes. First of all, I'm gonna show you how it looks on Twitch without these emotes. And I'm gonna show you how it looks on Twitch with these emotes so you can get a better understanding of what I'm trying to explain here. Here we got Google, let's, go, let's log into Twitch. Okay guys, so here we got a chat that is heavily affected by better Twitch TV and Frankface. Uh, as you can see in the chat, people are mass spamming these emotes. That is, uh, let, let's just take a look at one of them. For example, we got this one called um, White People Sad. Uh, that's the one they, 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 they're spamming here. With. That's the long white one, that's uh, Pepe, that's very sad, okay? and. For you, it just looks like text if you don't have the Better Twitch TV installed. Uh, and with the Better Twitch TV add-on installed to your, or I mean extension installed to your, to your Twitch or your Chrome, you can make it look like this. So if it's installed, you, you'll, you'll be able to see all these emotes that people are spamming. For example, this uh, lol W, that's a very, very, very popular emote. And, and this one called Weird Champ, people know them. They like to use them to explain themselves in the chat, right? And with uh, the, the ex extension um, installed, you'll be able to use a wide amount of different kind of emotes, GIFs uh, and just memes, you know? For example, we all know this guy saying, smart, you know? And so on, you know? Okay, now I'm gonna explain to you how you install this from beginners, for beginners. Okay, so here we are on Google and we start with searching in the search bar for BTTV. After you search on BTTV, it's better Twitch TV, that's the first one that's popping up. So we go to this page and you press download for Chrome. When you press download for Chrome, you're gonna, you are going to be directed to the Chrome web store where you just press add to Chrome up here. I already have it, so it says uh, delete, from, delete from Chrome in Danish for me. So when that's done, you are nearly all set. To get all set, you'll go to Twitch and you will press your profile icon up here and then you'll go to better Twitch TV settings. What happens now is a menu is popping up on your screen and this is only uh, on Twitch. As you can see, it, it doesn't follow anywhere else. It's only on Twitch. Uh, in here, you want to uh, enable better Twitch TV emotes and you want to enable better Twitch GIF emotes. Uh, those two needs to be on. Uh, to make you see the GIFs emotes from Better Twitch TV and the normal regular ones. Uh, you want to scroll down and you want to enable the emote menu so you can use them yourself. And then you want to e uh, enable Frankface emotes. That's just a wider, uh, just a better experience because there's a wider amount of emotes as a viewer, a viewer to see. So yeah, if we go to my channel, you can see that I have, uh, as a content creator, uh, enabled this. Uh, myself by having emotes uh, as those. As you see here, I have some GIFs and I have some normal ones. This, these are some of the most popular ones that I like to use myself. So I think they, I think they'd be funny. So I can myself decide which ones I want on my channel. So you, you won't get any inappropriate ones or any stuff like that. So now let's get to how you, as a content creator, add this to your own channel and decide which emotes you want people to be able to use on your own channel. So let's go back to Google. In Google we search better Twitch TV. We get to, we go to their website. What you want to do here is to log in uh, as I've done and then you go to emotes and then you can choose which emotes you want. The, the first ones you're gonna see is gonna be the most popular ones. Uh, for example we have this Omega LOL and we have Monkey S and Clap and, and so on. There's there's a wide 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 amount of emotes that you, you can choose. For your own channel. So yeah, let's say we're we're gonna choose um choose choose, choose which one we're gonna choose. We're gonna choose Sulul. That's an email. So you go, you press the email, and then you press add to channel. Okay, so what happened here was my capacity of emotes that I have chosen was, was filled. 
So on Better Twitch TV, you can have 15 emotes chosen for your channel. Uh, and that's why we're also gonna explain a different, a couple of different things about Frankaface in a minute. But uh, I've removed one emote, so now we're gonna add this emote to my channel. Pressing add, so now you can remove it again if you want to. And to see which emotes are enabled on your channel, you can go to the to dashboard and see which ones are enabled. On Better Twitch TV, you can also uh, upload your own emotes, but I guess if you're affiliate already, you can just do it through that, uh, through Twitch. Uh, and then people who doesn't use Better Twitch TV also is going to be, be using them. So but yeah, this is just like a little shortcut if you, if you, if you haven't unlocked any emote slots yet and you want your emotes to be out there for people who want to use it in your own chat. So now we're going to run over Frankaface and how you use Frankaface. So we search on Frankaface emotes. And what will happen is uh, the website for Frankaface is going to pop up as the first one. And here is the same story. You can go to email, you can like search on which emotes you want. Let's go search on sad cat, right? So we want a sad cat on our emote list. So let's take this one from space thing. Uh, and then we're just gonna press add to my channel. So now this is also added to my channel. This is under the other menu. As you see, we have two different menu. We have this one called Frankaface C channel emotes, and then we have the, the better Twitch TV channel emotes, okay? But I'd, re I'd suggest that you only took GIFs up in better Twitch TV because you can't, you can't choose GIFs in um, Frankaface C emotes. Okay, as a content creator, you want to be a part of the fun too. So when you're streaming, you want to be able to see it in your chat too. But instead of having to have a another chat open as a window from Chrome, you can actually enable them like every. E you can actually em enable all the emotes in Streamlabs. You can actually you can actually enable all you can actually enable all the emotes in Streamlabs. What the fuck was that? <laughs> this is how you do that. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to enable it in Streamlabs. So first of all, uh, I'm gonna try post a emote from Frankaface called Park here. Um, as you see, this is how it looks with better Twitch TV, uh, and this is what it's gonna look like in your Streamlabs. To fix this, you have to press the settings button down in the bottom left corner. Now that we're in the settings, we're gonna go to appearance, and then we're gonna enable better Twitch TV emotes for Twitch, and enable Frankaface emotes for Twitch. Just like that. And now if we go refresh the chat, we should be able to see emojis such as Pog. Now it works, we can see Pog. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching guys, and I hope you liked this tutorial, because I see a lot of people not using Better Twitch TV, and I really want people to know how to use it and understand why I want them to understand this, because I myself as a viewer like to use these uh, different kind of emotes to have fun in chat and uh, interact with the with the with the broadcaster and so on. Have a nice day.